Aquarius. I'm Kandrin. What up, what up? It's Deja. How y'all doing? Hello. If you've never been here before, welcome. We do a cross-section of pop culture in real life. Today, we are back with a list of Bravo updates. If you've never checked out one of our hodgepodge videos before, we do drop timestamps below in the description box so you can go to where you want to be. <laughs> First up, we got Phaedra. She is back. Girl. <laughs> On Housewives of Atlanta, so apparently, like... <laughs> She left the Merit and Medicine cash trip or something and hopped her ass right on down to Atlanta. Uh, I think that um, Heavenly Heavenly shot herself in the foot. Because mm. get out that damn lady's business. Because apparently it was like, and who I don't know if any of this stuff is true, but the social media streets were saying that um, Heavenly kept inviting uh apollo and his wife to things okay. or if not inviting him to things inviting the wife to things yes, I heard and that. like at this point you're just trying to be messy for the sake of you getting a kick out of whatever drama ensues yes. but girl you gonna fuck up your bag and apparently she has because now phaedra is adios back well, to giving, housewives i don't know it's kind of giving a scheme cooked up by todd because like she wasn't phaedra wasn't good on married to med she no. she needs to be on housewives of atlanta so i felt like she just needed an exit and once that door was open it was like she just needed an exit so heavenly gave her one maybe but was it a scheme was heavenly it? gave her one as did uh shout out to candy burst because her leaving the show opened of the course. door for her to come back of course like she would not be back if candy had stayed full stop Right. So, and it makes me wonder because even though Candy has not said that she would not go back, she just said that she was on hiatus to focus on other things. And even Andy has said that. So it's like, okay, well, what happens when Candy comes back? Because they always come back. I don't imagine that she is, but what if she decides to just, you know, just because? Well, I think that's a, a bridge they cross when they get there. Right now, they're trying to sh save the show and save this franchise because yeah. it was abysmal last season. So if Candy comes back, then maybe they, they're they alternating seasons or whatever. But for now, you got to get somebody on there that works. And especially with Kenya being gone. Candy is gone. Kenya got fired. And now you have Portia and Phaedra back, which could carry the show. Could. But we'll see. Because, like, are they even friends? Yeah. Have they spoken to one another? we don't know and we don't know what the newbies are going to bring so you know how many how, newbies do we have do how, we how they're going to play with the newbies well i feel like at first it was like three but um yeah i don't know i don't know y'all get down in the comments let us know if you know all right <laughs> do you want to go porsche oh and she's on dancing with the stars this season which I thought it, who uh, mm -hmm. didn't she say she got two left feet well the her two left feet are down to dancing with the stars <laughs> both of them okay i can't with you oh. uh so speaking of married not married to medicine lord bless it speaking of damn housewives of atlanta uh portia has landed a victory in that divorce uh decree or whatever you want to call it i don't know the legal terms y'all y'all i'm just here okay um so basically uh from last we heard she was filing for divorce because she feels like she was uh she got married under false pretenses because uh, Scamming Ass Simon, allegedly, was uh, trying to marry her to secure his citizenship here in the United States. And the judge said, you know what? Yep, you're right, because he's been trying to do this shit for 20 some odd years. So uh, we're going to side in your favor. He, he took 90 Day Fiance to another level, like 90 Day Fiance for 30 years, sir. Um, Baby. 30, 30 <laughs> years, Fiance. Years. He got uh, here in the 80s. Wow. 40 years. <laughs> 40 years. Let's correct it. Well, 30, 30, 40. 30 plus. 30 plus. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. Okay. So that shit is crazy though. Like when you because if you get on, so shout out to Girl Is That Legal, which is Simone Redwine's YouTube channel. But if you get on her um channel and look up like her conversation her commentary around Portia and Simon she breaks down all the stuff because she has access to the system. So she looked it up. He's been trying to secure citizenship either either on his own or through marriage for like 40 years. Yeah. That is insanity. I mean, listen, he's clear on his goal. He has a, 
<laughs> he has a long term agenda and he stays on task. So good on him. Uh, th- obviously, this is not going to work. So it didn't work. They yeah. know it's not going to. It did not. It has never worked. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem like it is going to just because their divorce proceedings are ongoing. So I'm sure he can appeal. There are all sorts of things that can that can happen to undo what this judge has found, but hopefully it's... Well, he tried to do... Simone said that he tried to do... I don't remember what the name of the clause is. Y'all forgive me. Um, but, like, basically he used something that has been on the books since the mail order bride shit was happening and basically tried to say that he was abused in the relationship. So that would also grant him, like, automatic, you get to stay here. Yeah, because... And, like, I know the... Girl, I know the maternity is like, baby, you yeah. are reaching, grabbing at straws. Actually, on 90 Day Fiance, I wonder if that's um what what Michael is doing because his that lady's crazy Angela's crazy <laughs> well I'm gonna have to catch up with 90 day fiance I have not no, watched that in so long I mean I have I I also have to catch up but that's like an OG couple and Michael finally got over here and Angela was trying to treat him like the slave that we knew that she was going to try to treat him like because everything about her reads she yeah. has the n-word Lots of injuries. girl. Well, why would you? Why would you go get you one? All right, moving along. <laughs> so, anyways, um, let's go to let's do married to married to men. We right there. So let's talk about Toya. Apparently, she's moving again, building a new house that she put on the internet again. Are we all trying to avoid like tax things? Because is there some sort of like tax code? Shout out to the the tax attorneys, the forensic accountants, and stuff. Let us know. Is there some sort of like <laughs> every so many years if you sell off your I think this is true. If you have to spend a certain amount of money to avoid paying taxes on it. So like if they sell off the house and they do whatever, like they're they're shifting and moving their monies around. Am I am I on some y'all know what I'm talking about? Maybe. Uh I think <laughs> I know what you're talking about. It's like the okay. I, that's too taxi. Anyways, it's, it's like it's very illegal, is what I know. Well, part of, yeah, probably what you're talking about is illegal, but part of it is not. Like if you roll your money, if you buy a house and you sell a house, but you have to roll it into another house in order to avoid paying taxes on it. And then the basis of that of your like tax income or whatever is based on the original house, basically. Something and like, like that. How many but like is there a year stipulation? Because since they built that first house, they sold it what two in twenty twenty. So they built the house three years prior. They sold the house in twenty twenty, and then they moved into this new house. And then now, it's because it's not realized. It hasn't realized yet. Basically, you only when you get cash in your hand is when okay. you pay taxes on it. This is how. This is okay. This is the whole conversation about wealth tax and why people want to be able to have like a tax on unrealized gains because what wealthy people end up doing is they just tie all their money up in a bunch of assets. They mm-hmm. they take loans based off of those assets to spend and to have cash and that's how they get around paying taxes forever. So like a lot of people end up just like never paying taxes on all this wealth and these properties and all this stuff that's passed down generation to generation. Like mm-hmm. you end up just not paying taxes on it if you just keep rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. So all that to say, I'm again, I'm not a tax expert. I did dabble in a little bit of tax, but I that was many moons ago. So like I'm not a tax expert and I don't know the current tax laws, but I don't, I'm assuming what they're doing is not illegal, um, <laughs> especially because they're putting uh, it on the internet, but that has never stopped anyone else um, <laughs> from doing illegal shenanigans. But what I think is that, yeah, I think Toya, I honestly think she should just be an interior designer or some sort of like architect or something. Like, I know she probably yeah. doesn't want to go to school to be an architect, but like she could be like an interior designer. What is Martell doing? She could do that on a high end level, but since he can't pass his builder's exam, maybe she could do that on a high end level because it seems like she just likes to build houses like she likes to build houses and she will move her family from house to house and she's saying oh we're making money in the process but 
you're just rolling it into and technically she is like she is building wealth if she's rolling it into the next property yeah so but i mean at this point to your end like you would make more money if you just built the house and sold it and not lived in that bitch but that's taxes oh yeah the ding 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 all right so <laughs> anyway <laughs> little light taxation but anyways all that to say toya like at a certain point in my opinion right don't your children like don't you want your children to have some stability for a an extended period of time as far as like at least i hope they're in the same neighborhood so that her kids don't have to keep getting up and did for schools and all the things you know what i mean like so I'm almost certain that she stays in that thing because I feel like the when they the house that they sold in 2020 they just moved around the corner. Right. So hopefully. So I'm sure I, she's still in the same neighborhood. Okay. So hope I I hope that to be the case. I'm assuming her kids are in private school, so maybe the zoning and stuff doesn't matter. But like yeah. I, I just I don't this necessarily have a problem with what she's doing. It's just more so thinking of like the kids and what they want to have a family home to go to. You know what I mean? But. Yeah. That's but I mean, house is home is what you make it, you know. So, yeah. so anyway, she's whatever. Moving What's on. going on with Melody and Carlos King? Okay, this was a Kimpire video. Basically, Melody started talking around Carlos, saying that he was being a toxic leader and being messy or whatever. And I was just like, this reminds me of a was conversation he? that we previously had of like he seems like he's too involved and so this is where i i feel like i've been on on record as saying i have a mixed relationship with melody holt but it's like girl when it's beneficial to you and you are on the stage and you're doing all the things then you're okay you with space. this mm -hmm. messy relationship however mm -hmm. when it is annoying you or against you or whatever the case may be with as far as I think it was to do with her um her handling of the rooms for the vacation or whatever I don't know anyways to the extent that he's being messy against you like now you want to talk about toxic leadership but it was always toxic because it, I felt like he's too involved in terms mm -hmm. of there's no reason why he's being shown as a cast member almost on this show sometimes. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Show up for the I reunion, agree. host the reunion, and let's move on. Hell, he don't even need to host the reunion because half the time he's too he's too connected. Like, get yeah. put another body in in place of you. Yeah. Give them the questions that you want answers to, and, but like let it I be think, somebody else. And I think he's trying to do that a little bit on his platform because he has Dustin doing a lot of stuff on his platform, which I yeah. love. I hope so. that Dustin ends up being the person to do the damn reunions. Oh, okay, yeah. shout out to Dustin Ross. We want him, Carlos, period. Full stop. Yes. All right, the last thing, the Real Housewives of Potomac trailer has dropped. Um, I did not watch that. I need to watch this. Did I? But I did see a lot of speculation about how Giselle is going to be behaving now that Robin is around. And I would also like to to point out how is Wendy going to be be behaving without Candy Ache. So like, let's mm -hmm. keep it both sides, friends, because... You could be out the door next, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So, girl. Oh wait, we didn't do Tom Girardi. Tom Girardi was found guilty of his crimes. But do it people. matter? The man is like ninety nine years old, stealing all those yeah. people's money. Ninety nine years old with dementia. So it's like girl, girl, he don't even know what the hell going on. He done made yeah. off literally, and he lived a good been, life. Had a great life. We talked about this when we talked about Diddy. He done lived a great life and then spent all them people's money and this is the only part where i kind of like low-key feel bad for erica because it's like she's sitting here holding the bag and he was the one that committed the fraud he was the one right. that owed the duty of care and the fiduciary right. duty to these people not her she ain't nobody's lawyer and not only that but like why would you assume that a woman who is a housewife in every sense of the word like the 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 type of housewife that most housewives aspire to have, that type Absolutely. of flexibility. Like, why would you assume that she knew that this money that he was, you know, spending on her or giving her her allowance was coming from him doing the illegal shit? She don't know. And even if she knew it was coming <laughs> from his law firm, like, how was she to know that that's a problem? There's a lot of there's a lot of accounts at a law firm. There's trust accounts. How was she to yeah. know? that it wasn't to you know what I mean 
So anyways. It's really crazy how they, they really just be ragging on that woman about that. And like, did she do some terrible other things? Yes, she has. But like, I just, I have a difference of opinion with Erica because I just, maybe it's, maybe it's because I am a lawyer. I'm like, she didn't owe nobody a duty. So what is it? Which anyway. people don't don't like her. That's really what it comes down to. They just Gotta didn't be. like her when she had all the money and she was high shit and she was a little bitchy. They really didn't like her then. But now that this this has come out, they are making her the the bag holder for somebody else's doing because they didn't like her already. That's really what it comes down to. To me, it feels like, and it's not a Jen Shaw situation where you know she was actively committing fraud. You know what I mean? So it just it feels uh, a little, it feels a little different for me. <laughs> yeah and uh, apparently there's a um the, we missed the reunion or not reunion the trailer for salt lake city that came out too yes. and mary is a full housewife again which i think i'm on record as saying like i don't really need mary as a full housewife because i think she makes too many faux pas as a full housewife i think she's one of those she's a marlo she's a good time on the periphery she comes in <laughs> shakes some shit up says something ridiculous and then she is off for two episodes. But her as a full-time housewife, I, I'm i concerned. Because a lot of the stuff that she says is very problematic. It is. Which is why, at this point, y'all need to bring... She needs someone to play off of that is, like, her friend. And she strikes me as not really having a whole lot of friends. Agreed. I think she has a lot of people... Um... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> um... She's she gives like first lady vibes, like first lady of the church yes. vibes, as far as like don't allow to nobody to get in with a lot of mm-hmm. people who want to be around her, kind of mm-hmm. mm-hmm. agree. I believe so. We're gonna see maybe this season. Well, we will have what it is that we're asking for in terms of her having someone else to play against because being the only person of color on an all white uh cast is it just seems awkward, even if she fits amongst that community i would imagine that she has her own community of color in that i mean it's, she's a damn um first lady she got to i grew up I mean, in the church she doesn't okay uh, <laughs> all right <laughs> well that's that folks y'all weigh in on the the, co- the the commentary that we gave today Make sure that you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's anything you want us to talk about, let us know. Emails down below. See you in the next one. Bye.